Hello, this is a question I've had many times and it's sad that I keep having it. So I will share what, I'm not gonna say his name because it's got some personal information in it. It says, hey Paul, I've heard you talk about erectile dysfunction in 19 year old athletes who can't get off Viagra. I was one of those athletes. I discovered you a few years ago and you changed my life in so many ways. I haven't been sick in years and I'm more healthy than I can ever imagine. For whatever reason, my erections never came back that's the only issue I still have and can't figure out. I'm 23 now. I've seen your videos on erectile dysfunction and was wondering if you had any more to add or any advice for me and my issue. I've seen it become a growing issue as well as among my friends in college that have similar problems. So yes, if you've applied the teachings, uh, you know, I only put a little bit. I mean, I know there's a lot on my YouTube channel, but compared to what you get as a Czech professional in training in the Czech Academy, and I'm, believe me, it's, I, if you took all the videos I've got on YouTube and even my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, it would just be a tiny little amount compared to what you get in five years of training, as you can imagine. On that note, let's have a puff here just to keep it fun. So. Here's a few things to think about. One, not knowing your background, chances are very good you were raised on commercially raised food, which is loaded with farming chemicals. You may have had vaccination, which have mercury and aluminum in them. You could have high levels of a number of different environmental toxins and heavy metals and pesticide residues. So if you really want to get your erections back to healthy, and a healthy male of that age should wake up every morning pretty much consistently with an erection due to the cycles of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. But some of the things I would recommend is go to a functional medicine practitioner and ask them to do an environmental toxicity panel on you, which will look for typically about 150 to 175 chemicals, such as the chemicals in plastics, can liners, body care products. If you haven't switched to all organic body care products, do that immediately, including soaps, anything that comes on or in your body. Body. If you're not using a filtration system to get chlorine out of the water, there's a number of things you can get. You can get shower head filters, you can get bathtub filters, you can get tablets that you drop in the water that neutralize the chlorine. You've got to basically detoxify your body because all those toxins are putting load on the body and that load keeps the sympathetic system stressed. Remember the sympathetic system is responsible for ejaculation and the parasympathetic system, which is your digest, metabolize, assimilate, growth and repair system is what is responsible for maintaining an erection. So so typically when you have erectile dysfunction, you have a very significant sympathetic fight or flight nervous system dominance over the parasympathetic rest, digest, assimilate, metabolize, growth and repair. So some first steps is get yourself tested for environmental toxicity and heavy metals and do whatever you need to do. Your functional medicine practitioner will guide you to how to clean that out. I would put yourself on the all natural cleanse 60 day colon cleanse, which has anti-parasitics in it. You want to make sure you get the anti-parasitics. I think it's allnaturalcleanse.com if I remember right. And make sure that you're drinking high quality water. You need to drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day and test the pH of the water to make sure that it's not acidic, which is anything below seven pH. It should be between seven and about 8.5 for ideal drinking water. You can test to see how hydrated you are because you can be drinking a lot of water and still be dehydrated if you're drinking what's called bulk water or dead water or what's called juvenile water, which is water that has been heavily filtered or rainwater or surface water, but it doesn't have the nutrients from the earth and the liquid minerals in it. The body needs nor some of the microorganisms that the body needs for its own health. You can just take a pinch of the skin on the back of your hand and let it go. And by this test, I'm a little bit dehydrated. It should pretty much snap back. The longer it takes to go back to normal, the more dehydrated you are. And on that note, I better drink some water. Cheers. That's how you do it. So those are some important things. Another thing is make sure that your sleep is timed with the sun moon cycle. If you're not getting eight hours of sleep a night, that's a big problem. That's your cheapest, easiest source of anabolic energy right off the bat. So you, you need to be in bed by around 10 o'clock because basically your cortisol releases with sunrise and sunlight. And as the sun goes down, cortisol diminishes progressively from about midday on and melatonin 
melatonin begins to rise. Melatonin is one of the chief regulators of your anabolic hormones. So it's very important if you really want to achieve a healthy erectile capacity that you do these things because you, this is how your body's designed. People just live so far off balance. It's a joke. <laughs> That's why you have so many young men with erectile dysfunction that really are behaving and functioning like old men. I'm 62 and I can still uh, function quite well. You want to make sure that you're sleeping. And in my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, I have a whole chapter on sleep hygiene, how to make sure you get rid of any potentially electrical stress by shutting off electric devices. You can use the Biogeometry Home Kit, which I highly recommend. It has applications for your water and your power mains, and it has a cube that will handle about 4,000 square feet to neutralize electromagnetic stress, which is very, very helpful. You can use a grounding mat. I recommend the one that you put a stake in the ground as opposed to the electrical socket. That's It's a better grounding, and that helps bleed electromagnetic stress out of your body at night, which again gives you more anabolic energy. Make sure you don't have two dissimilar metals. If you have a gold crown and a silver crown that sets up a battery in your mouth that causes electrolysis and that overstimulates key meridians and is a high level of stress on your body. So you want to make sure that all your teeth are working well. You don't have cracked teeth. You don't have cavities that need to be filled because that poisons the body. And then you need to learn to use weights properly. If you study my program design course, I show you how to use rep sets, loads, tempos, and rest periods scientifically. But generally what you got to do is you got to build yourself up to where you can train in the two to four rep zone. You can go to ones once in a while, but you got to be careful because if you, you know, when you get up to one RM, your, your risk of injury goes up a lot. So what I found though, is that if you get into anywhere between two and six rep loads, especially with your bigger lifts, like the deadlift, the squat, the lunge, bench press, Olympic lifts, like clean and jerk, push jerks, bent over rows, things that are you know, big multi-joint exercises. That stimulates testosterone and growth hormone beautifully. You don't want to leave the gym spent. You should leave the gym feeling vibrant and alive, like you've had a good workout, but not spent. Another thing you can do is listen to my podcast. It should be out by now with Mike DeBroad and look into blood flow restriction training because as we talk about in the podcast, blood flow restriction training increases nitric oxide in your body and increases anabolic hormone development in the body. And I've seen wild results with blood flow restriction training. And my buddy Kyle Kingsbury had some amazing results with it. In fact, the last time I saw him, he was so ripped and looked so amazing. I'm like, what in the world have you been doing? And it's actually lower load, but because of blood flow restriction, it triggers an anabolic response and the whole biochemistry of it's explained in my podcast. So you can use a combination of high intensity training with low intensity blood flow restriction training to really bump up your anabolic hormones. I also recommend using a sauna regularly. Infrared is going to be the best, but any sauna will work and getting a good sweat to help detoxify the body and coupling that with the use of a cold plunge. And I would recommend using the coldest showers you can take every day and try to avoid the use of hot water because that also has a very strong anabolic energizing effect, a yin effect. Also, if you are going to have sex, try just getting in the cold shower and stay there till you're as cold as you can get before you go jump in bed and start playing. And often that alone can significantly enhance or erectile performance and duration because of the increased yin energy, which is linked to parasympathetic activity in the body. So as a general overview, those are some important tips. You might need to listen to this a couple of times just to kind of write down the steps I've mentioned and put it together. But uh, I haven't had anybody that I've worked with that I could not help get back optimal male function as long as they had the discipline to follow the program. So I think that's the most that I, I've covered the, the most important things. Anything else I would cover, I would have to start doing lab tests and, and very detailed assessments to get to the bottom of it. But I think if you follow the protocol I've just given, you and anybody else that wants to have healthy erectile performance can achieve it. And if you were to do the things I've just shared and make that commitment and still have a hard time, it would suggest to me that specific testing is needed because it means there's something stressing the system that you're not identifying. For example, you might have to do a highly specific test to see if you have a fungal infection and or parasites. Uh, for those of you 
that are interested, you can look at my online training program, Healing Fungal and Parasite Infections, The Absolute Essentials, and it shows you what everybody should know about that because about 90 to 95% of the world population has an active parasite infection and an active fungal infection at any given time, which is a tremendous load on your immune system and brings your cortisol levels up, burns your adrenal glands out, and almost always with erectile dysfunction, you have adrenal fatigue coupled with it. So the kind of approach that I've just given you is very helpful. The one thing I would mention is to look at my zone exercises or what we call work in exercises. And I would start with zone one breathing squats and throw a little zone two in there and do at least 20 minutes a day to build your life force energy up your chief up and that will enhance everything i've just described so best of luck with all of that and it's a really common problem out there and i got news for you if you follow everything i said and you get it right and you get your jing back you could probably make a lot of money coaching people just on that get yourself through hlc one and two so you know how to do a proper assessment and how to guide people and all the different techniques i teach for professionally administered holistic lifestyle coaching and uh, you'd have a big career because there's a sea of people out there with this exact problem so lots of love and best of luck